Hello everybody. I hope you're doing well, I hope you're being safe. And I want to give you a quick update because I had a lot of feedback one, two weeks ago when I did the video on uh, Holmes, the new toilet paper, the new toilet paper. It really is. So if you remember in March, when this whole pandemic started, uh, like late March, you know, toilet paper was running out of everywhere and every store didn't really have it. Uh, and then by April, like it was hard to find it anywhere. For some of us, right, that was the common thing. So, so what's happening is the same thing with houses. So just to recap on the two weeks ago, on the video from two weeks ago, before March, before COVID got here, we were, we had a shortage of inventory. We had very little, little homes coming up for sale. And we had, every time a property hit the market, we had maybe two to four buyers, uh, you know, kind of ready for every one property that came up on the market. When COVID came along, a lot of the people that normally would put their homes up for sale in the springtime decided to hold off for safety concerns. People don't want to, you know, take a chance and have people at home. And then there were people who were already on the market for sale who decided to take their homes off the market out of safety concerns, rightfully so. So then that created an even shorter, uh, tighter inventory. So much so that now instead of having two, three, four buyers for every one property that hit the market, now we had five, six, seven, eight buyers for every one property. Well, uh, the government wanted to stimulate the economy, wanted to uh, people continue to use uh, mortgages and create purchases because it stimulates the economy because every time a property sells, it triggers a lot of revenue from uh, sales tax, from uh, city and county and state tax, property tax and income tax from everybody, everybody involved in the transaction. Well, they lower the price, I'm sorry, they lower the interest rate and then you trigger a bigger demand on the buyer side with an even tighter inventory in properties for sale. And so the, now we developed, we grew into seven, eight, nine, ten buyers for every one property. But then last week, uh, the interest rates dropped even further. Uh, I know on Friday it went down as, as low as 3%, even below 3%. Of course, the interest rates fluctuate every, every day, every hour sometimes. And so we don't know what the, what the interest rate is going to be the next day or next week or next month. They're probably going to maintain low as, as far as what they're telling us, the economists and the Department of Real Estate in California and the National Association of Realtors and the you know, federal government saying that they're going to continue the interest rates low throughout next year to ensure we keep demand. The challenge is that it's truly a uh, toilet paper analogy has now become more true because now with this shortage of inventory we're getting and the interest rate being so low as they are uh, we're getting now 12 14 15 offers for every one property so it's very competitive and now buyers are for sure driving the prices because buyers are overbeating each other and so then now once those properties sell above their fair market value and actually appraise when they close escrow they now become a close you know, comparable to the next home that's gonna hit the market for sale. So uh, in true fashion, homes are flying off the shelves like instantly, within two, three days they're disappearing. They hit the market and disappear quick with multiple offers to choose from, many qualified buyers out there. So if you're a buyer, if you know anybody that's a buy, looking to buy a property, now it's a good time. It's challenging because it's very competitive and you have to compete against 10 offers now. So your offer has to be strong, your qualifying ratios and qualifying financials have to be strong, but it's a good time to buy. If you're a seller or you know anybody that's looking to sell, now it's a great time to sell. So um, that's my two cents for today. If you uh, need any support from me in any, in any way, in any kind, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you and or any of your friends and family would like to do anything real estate related, I'm here to serve you and your friends and your family as well. Reach out anytime, outside real estate, come anytime. I'm always available. And on my link below on my email, I'm sending, uh, um, I'm gonna put it on YouTube too. I don't know how to do it, but I'll figure it out. I'm sending a link in, in how you could book yourself in my calendar. And if you wanna just chat and have a cup of coffee, my intention with that was have a cup, cup of coffee. I drink coffee already in the morning, might as well chat with somebody on Zoom or FaceTime or by phone call. Let me know if you're interested, but otherwise just uh, call me anytime. Thank you, bye.